And new numbers this morning bring new perspective. We'll show you why Sunday storms were something we've never seen before. We've got that and everything you need before you head out the door right here, right now on Wake Up With Al. You're watching Wake Up With Al, live from New York, with Al Roker and Stephanie Abrams. Let's take you to Washington, Illinois, near Peoria, where an EF4 tornado with winds up to 190 miles an hour uh, struck a town. Our Dave Malkoff is there, and Dave, I know this destruction you've seen is really so devastating. What's the biggest challenge, as you can see it right now, for these folks? Well, Al, you can see the challenge right behind me. It's the cleanup. It's easy to look at this pile of debris back here and think of it as just that, a pile of debris. But every single piece that you see in here is a piece of someone's life. There's their grocery bag. There are some children's uh, pictures in here. It's pieces of your life that you have to put back together, and that's tough after a tornado that looks like this. Well, I hope no one's hurt. This killer tornado spinning through Washington, Illinois, was about to impact the lives of three men, all named Richard. We got another box here. This used to be Richard Schertz's mom's place. She's 89 and got out long before the tornado took the house down. A lot of this stuff we had when I was a kid, and to see it beyond repair was very tough. Sunnydale Estates is a retirement community. There you go. There's your great grandpa shirt. Most of the people who live here are older. The only ones that stayed were those that could not get out. And that brings us to our second Richard, Richard Hawley. His mother in law was one of those who stayed. She was sick the last few days, so she stayed home from church. Here she is, Velma Hout. At 90 and a half years old, she fought back a tornado inside a bathroom. She heard the roar, grabbed two pillows out of the bedroom those two pillows and hung on to the toilet and it sucked her house shoes off. Mrs. Hout can't find those slippers or the strangers who pulled her from the pile. Moments after the siren died down, helpers came running. Search and rescue began. All of this stuff laying here was all from the storm. We found the third Richard across the street. Richard Old Chase ran to the basement with his wife and kids with seconds to spare. We were just spread eagle, basic. Well, my daughter and wife were huddled, and I was holding one of their hands. Quick thinking, early warning, and kind strangers. That is how you survive the day. How's she feeling? Uh, she's worn out. She's 90 years old, dude. Got a cold. <laughs> she's a tough 90, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I found. People are keeping their sense of humor, even though one person did die here in Washington. Now, you talk about those pieces of debris in here, these very light pieces, pieces of paper, photographs, blown insulation, they can blow up into the air as high as an airplane flies and come down 100 miles from here. That's exactly what happened to Richard Oldchase's photographs. They actually saw, Alan Stephanie, their photos on Facebook a hundred miles from here. Wow, technology trying to help. All right, Dave, thank you so much. Let's get caught up right now. Mike.